All right, so in this video, we want to sketch this sine function over here and has all these transformations. The first thing we want to do is we want to list up these transformations and we're doing a sketch between zero and two pi. So I know that the amplitude of this function is three. The k value of the function is two. Period is two pi divided by k, so two pi over two, which is pi. We have a phase shift of pi over six to the right. And our equation of axis is just y equals to one, our c value over here. So first things first is you just have to know all your transformations. And now when you're sketching this function, the first thing you want to do in your sketch is you want to just draw your y-axis and then you want to draw your equation of axis in the dead center. So my equation of axis is y equals one. The next thing you want to do is you want to label your max and your min. So if my amplitude is three, one plus three is a maximum of four and one minus three is a minimum of negative two. Then you can draw your x-axis next, which is just slightly below one. And now we can start with the actual function itself. So we know that the period of this function is pi. We also know that it's a sine function and it's a positive sine function. So positive sine function would normally start on the axis right here. But this one is shifted to the left by pi over six units. So my first point is going to be here, which has an x value of pi over six. Then I want to go to my last point of my first period. So I'm going to label that on the axis as well. And this point right here is this point plus a period. So pi over six plus pi is just seven pi over six. I know for a sine graph, the middle is again going to be another axis point. And then I'm just gonna do the midpoint of these two in my calculator. So pi over six plus seven pi over six divided by two is just an x value of two pi over three. Now between my first two points is going to be my maximum. And to find the x value of this maximum, again, you're going to do the midpoint of these two. And then over here, it's my minimum. Start drawing it out. And again, I would just do the midpoint of these two to find my x values at these two points. So let's start with the maximum, pi over six plus two pi over three divided by two is just five pi over 12. And over here, two pi over three plus seven pi over six divided by two is 11 pi over 12. So now that we've completed the first cycle, we've got to go all the way to two pi, because seven pi over six is far, less than two pi. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another period to this. And there's multiple ways you can do this, but I'm just gonna do it this way with the midpoint method as well. I'm gonna find the x value of this point here. So I'm gonna do seven pi over six plus another pi. Which is just 13 pi over six. Now 13 pi over six is larger than two pi, which means the graph will not hit this point over here. It will end before this. And on this side here, I can just extend this and hit the axis. It's not super important where it hits it as long as it does not hit it at the minimum, because we know it's definitely not a minimum. 
because if I did 11 pi over 12 minus pi, the minimum would be over here at negative pi over 12. So we know it just hits the axis somewhere between this part over here. Again, not super important to find the exact point. Let's find the midpoint of these two points now. So seven pi over 12 uh, over six plus 13 pi over six is just 10 pi over three. Two pi is larger than that. So let's keep going. Oh, it's what I divided by two actually. It's five pi over three. It's two pi is not larger than that. But two pi is larger than five pi over three. So this point, the graph's definitely gonna hit this point. So I can also label my maximum over here. I know the graph is definitely going to go through this. Do the midpoint of these two to find my max. Seven pi over six plus five pi over three divided by two is 17 pi over 12. Let's find the midpoint of these two. Let's see if our graph actually hits that point. So five pi over three plus 13 pi over six divided by two is 23 pi over 12. So it does hit the minimum over here because this is still slightly less than two pi. Two pi would be 24 pi over 12. I know this is slightly less, which means that my graph is going to hit this minimum over here. And then it's gonna go slightly more than that. And it's basically going to end at the same height over here as this one. And that would be the entire graph from zero to two pi. Basically x value over here is two pi.